Hello and welcome to my first unboxing event. So, um, I've been always a big fan of remote control cars. I've had two of them. Um, back when I was like 15, I bought my first one. And then uh, I bought another one when I was about 19. The Yokomo YZ10 was the second one. The first one was an RC10. These are all one tenth um, buggies that you race in the dirt and had a lot of aftermarket upgrades like shocks and so forth. So just got reconnected with my love for RC cars and so I wanted to get myself one as an adult. And so I got myself the uh, Team Associated um, Short Course Pro 4 10. So we're gonna be opening up that, that up today. We're gonna take her out for a spin, see how she does. This is an RTR, which means ready to run means fresh out of the box, you don't have to put it together. A lot of the other ones that I purchased, they were kits, and so you had to really construct them yourself. You need a bunch of tools. Um, you need to know how to solder, you know, a lot of them, the motors and the cords and so forth. So this one is ready to run. You can make aftermarket um, upgrades, right? So it comes stock, so all this stuff is put in already. But, you know, I can change the wheels out. I can add everything new with all I want, you know, as I go forward in this one. But we're gonna open this baby up today and I'll see what she's got for us. Tune in. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, they got quite a few models out, different brands. And so if I went with Team Associated, because that's the one I was most familiar with. Um, and I just like the color of the body. And so, yeah, I went with this particular one. It was the cheaper one. And like I said, the other the other versions, which are two other versions, a mid version and a higher quality version, um, they just have a few more little upgrades like LED lights and um, different shocks and so forth. All of that stuff I can add myself, right? But the difference was that the color of the body from this one to the mid grade one to the higher grade one was totally different and I just love the color. And so I went with this and I always knew that I could make aftermarket upgrades if I so choose to. Let's go. Thank you all for joining me on my first unboxing event. All right, so here's our paper sheet. I ordered this from Tower Hobbies, a really cool hobby store website as well, towerhobbies.com. I'm not here promoting them, but... Uh, I found their website online to be very well put together, made it very easy to make purchases and to find what type of car you want and any type of accessories and aftermarket upgrades that you are looking for. They might not have them all, so you gotta search around for some of the other ones, but uh, this spot here was a good spot on, a good spot to choose from, so. If you're looking, definitely pay them a visit. All right, so. This small box here is an extra battery pack that I bought. It comes with one, but here's an extra one. So we're gonna spin this baby around and let you see how it's sitting in the box. And so voila, here's our 110 scale short course racing truck. All right, nothing else left in the box. This is well put together, so we'll toss this to the side. But, uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Like I said, here's the name. Let's get a little bit of a closer look. It's the Pro 4 CSC10, which is the short course. It's abbreviation for short course 10. Body comes painted on already. Already comes put together like I said, so this will just be an open, and we get to go, go, go. All I need to do is get some batteries for the for the radio. So it has this quality test seal right here. Nice little seal that lets you know it's been tested and it's been approved for shipment and to be put out there to sell. So I'm happy about that. First off, the box seems like it's very good quality. Uh, nice cardboard, nice laminated cardboard put together. And uh, yeah, let's see what this baby has on the inside.
remember, you want to take some care when opening up your package or box. Just don't want to be slamming it out, throwing it out, throwing it out and about. Make sure. All right, so this is the top side of the box. So we're going to slide her out this way. Drum roll, please. So inside, once again, the fact that it's ready to run, here we got our radio. So I'm going to keep hold of the box. I want to just, just throw that away. So we've got a nice little This is our radio and our charger comes with it. Nothing else in the box here, so we'll put this to the side. Once again, when unboxing your radio control car, take care of the equipment, take care of the box, put it aside, just don't rip through the box. You definitely want to hold on to those things. So. So it comes with this nice little radio, team by team associated. And it's decent, you know, for in the box, just straight out of the box. But uh, I definitely will be upgrading this and getting a different one. A little bit more expensive than probably this one would cost. Um, but uh, it will definitely enable me to have greater range when controlling the, the, the car, you know what I mean? So. Here she goes. So, got some more tape to undo. So it is bolted down right at the bumpers, so clip one, clip two. We are ready to take this bad boy out. So here we got a bunch of little certifications. We got the book, instruction manual on how to operate. We got some decals, some stickers we can place on. Um, once again, there's nothing left in the box here, so we're gonna hold on to that. Nice little plastic film sheet, protective sheet. And here you go. So we're gonna take the body off just so we can have a look underneath the hood. Don't lose these little clamps that hold the body down. And here we go. So nice painted body. So I can already see some, some parts of this that I'm going to alter um, because since it's so closed off, this car goes pretty fast. I'm going to create some vents so there's no parachuting. So what happens when the car parachutes, when it starts to go really fast, as the wind drag lifts underneath the hood, it picks the car up, makes the car pop wheelies and such. So to fight against that, I'm going to be cutting some little ventilation holes throughout the hood here, along the backside to give it some ventilation so the air can pass through and the car can stay down and rip and run. But definitely I am pleased with the paint job. This is what drew me in. This remind me of Bumblebee, the killer bee. So definitely the black, yellow, and white coloring. So 
But here, the body of the car is pretty cool. We have ourselves a net, a protective cover that goes over the guts of the car, which is really nice. Um, that'll prevent any dirt and debris from getting in and causing an issue. So we got some nice T connectors for the battery. We got a 3300 MAH battery. We got a 3300 Reedy powered motor, which gives me a lot of power and torque, for some good spin outs. We got some basic factory tires, right? But they'll do the job. I'm not like a professional racer, this is just for a hobby. And if I want, I can add in LED lights, right? These little headlights here in the rear bumper as well. Um, this also has little mud, mud flaps. So yeah, looking really excited. See how it goes. I'll check back in with you guys. All right, so I'm ready to rock and roll. I got my batteries put in. I got the car turned on. Once you lift the hood up, there's a little switch that turns on all of the, 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 the guts, the engines and such, and so, here we go. So really cool. Um, I got a portable battery charger here. And yeah, we're gonna take this baby outside and get a little run. Later on, I'll read through the, uh, the manual just to see how to operate and set the parameters for the control, right? You can really hone in on, whoa. <laughs> we don't want that. Uh, although it probably is durable enough to handle it, I don't want to be doing that on the first day. Oh yeah, we're about to have some fun. See you guys outside. Just before we head out, we're going to open up the other box, which should be the additional battery pack. Let's see what we have here. I've since learned about, you know, more powerful batteries it will give you a lot more power for the engine to run harder and get the car moving a lot faster. But we'll really upgrade a little bit later. So I've got a bashing 5200. 35C, 7.4 volt. Let's see how it looks. And here we go. So we will undo this little piece of tape here. Move this little piece, and voila. Here's our battery. That's just an additional battery. So once you know one battery runs out, I have another one to go, and I can just keep on keeping on. Next up, we're gonna test run, taking her out. Okay, so came outside here, little hills, but a lot of good dirt, good packed dirt, some grass, and so let's take them for a spin. I'm back from the test run. Very enjoyable. Um, great movement, maneuvers well, handles well. Uh, got pretty dirty out there. Um, took it to the baseball field, as you can see. So we're gonna definitely gonna get this baby cleaned up and look to have some more fun with it. But I definitely um, encourage 
whoever is interested in RC to get one. It's super fun. And I'll see you out there. Maybe we can race. And... So like I said, a lot of dirt, but the net definitely helped to protect what's going on underneath here. A lot of dirt in the, in, in, in the shock absorbers back around here. A lot of dirt was being kicked back, you know. Uh, but that's part of it. It's part of the fun. So I'm going to shut this baby off. Here's the body. There you have it. Team Associated Pro 4 SC10. Thanks again for watching. Till next time.